going to study regarding the mutation. So before start with the mutation, we have to know what is exactly mean by this mutation. So mutation is nothing but there occur changes in the genetic material. So what kind of genetic materials uh, included in case of this mutation? So we will first start with this genetic materials. So first is nucleotide. So nucleotides are nothing but the building blocks of a DNA. And we know that these nucleotides are present in a particular sequence or they are having a specific sequence which is responsible for the synthesis of a protein. So there are two types of nucleotides. First is purines which contains adenine and guanine while pyrimidines which contains cytosine and thymine. So according to these types, these nucleotides are having a particular type of a sequence. Then regarding the gene, gene is nothing but a segment of a DNA and it is functional unit of this DNA. While the DNA we know that this is nothing but the deoxyribonucleic acid and it is the genetic material that contains the instruction for synthesis of the protein. So as per the sequence of nucleotide which is present, this is responsible for synthesis of a particular type of a protein. So accordingly this DNA is going to synthesize the particular type of a protein. While the chromosomes, chromosomes these are nothing but these are made up of a DNA and inside the cell these DNA strands are present in the form of a compact rounds around the histone protein. So these are known as the chromosomes and the certain kind of changes in this genetic materials change in the nucleotide sequence or change in the structure of a genes again or change in the uh, chromosomal structure its size or we can say change in the number of a chromosomes so all these parameters these are responsible for causing the mutation so we can define the mutation as an uh, Mutation is nothing but changes that occurs in the genetic material. So changes in the genetic material which includes change in the chemical structure of a gene or change in the structure or size or the number of chromosomes or we can say change in the nucleotide sequence of the DNA. So these changes are responsible for causing the mutation. While this mutation is again responsible for morphological as well as chemical changes as the changes occur at the genetic level during the mutation. So obviously this is going to affect the protein synthesis and this is further responsible for causing the change in the morphological structure. Not only that it is also going to show the changes in the chemical class or the chemical constituents of the plant material. Okay. Now we will start with the types of mutations. So there are two types. First one is gene mutation and second one is chromosomal mutation. So as we know in gene mutation there occur changes in the structure of the gene which is responsible for causing the gene mutation where the gene mutation is further of two types. The first type is point mutation where we can say that in this mutation the changes in the specific point of the gene will occur. That is as we know that the gene contains a sequence of nucleotide which is responsible for the formation of a protein. But any kind of change in this sequence of nucleotide, it is called as the point mutation. And this mutation, it occurs in two ways. So first way, that is nothing but transitional, in which there occur replacement of these nucleotides. For example, the purine is replaced by another purine or pyrimidine get replaced by another pyrimidine. So as we know 
the purine bases like adenine and guanine so in case of transitional mutation this adenine get replaced by guanine or guanine get replaced by adenine while in case of pyrimidine the cytosine get replaced by thymine or thymine get replaced by cytosine that is nothing but only the purines get replaced by purines or the pyrimidines get replaced by pyrimidine so this is called as a transitional mutation now the second way is transversion transversion so here we can say that in in this mutation there occur replacement of a purine by pyrimidine or pyrimidine get replaced by purine okay so the two different bases these are get replaced by one another okay for example adenine get replaced by thymine or adenine get replaced by cytosine that is by means of pyrimidine while the cytosine which is a pyrimidine so the cytosine get replaced by adenine or cytosine get replaced by guanine that means the pyrimidine get replaced by purine now the second type of gene mutation is frame shift mutation so what happen in this case that is one or more base pair okay one or more base pair get inserted or deleted from the dna and that results in the alter reading frame of mrna so we know that mrna means messenger rna so dna it contains a specific set of nuclear which is responsible for synthesis of particular type of a protein but during this synthesis this dna which contains a specific sequence of a nucleotide which transmit the information to mrna and this mrna then forms the specific protein but due to insertion or deletion of a base pair from the dna there occur alteration in the reading frame of mrna and thus it results into the synthesis of a altered protein and this is responsible for causing the mutation the second type of mutation is a chromosomal mutation so we know that in chromosomal mutation there occur change in structure size and number of a chromosomes where this chromosomal mutation is further of different four types the first one that is deletion so in which deletion of a particular set of a chromosome will occur so here a particular segment of a chromosome will get deleted and due to this there occur decrease in the size of these chromosomes well the second type is inversion so in case of inversion there occur reverse of a particular segment of a chromosome so a particular uh, chromosomal sequence it get reversed or it get invert so that is called as a inversion of a chromosome chromosome then duplication so as the name in, name indicate here there occur duplication of a particular set of a chromosome or we can say a particular segment of a chromosome so because of this duplication there occur increase in the size of the chromosome while the fourth type that is nothing but the translocation translocation means change in the location of a particular segment of a chromosome so in this case this translocation will occur in between normal chromosome and other non homologous chromosome so the particular segment of a chromosome in normal chromosome get translocated to the other non homologous chromosome that is known as the translocation mutation okay so this is regarding the types of mutation now we will start with the causes of mutation 
so this mutation either occur naturally or that may occur because of certain external uh, agents so uh, the mutation which occur naturally that is known as the spontaneous mutation where there are different natural pa parameters which are responsible for causing such type of a mutation where it ultimately results in causing the changes in the structure of a dna that is known as the spontaneous mutation while the second type is nothing but the induced mutation induced means certain external agents are used to induce mutation and this is also called as the artificial mutation where this mutation it is occur because of exposure uh, to the certain external agents that is known as the mutagens so these agents are known as the mutagens and these are of following types where this mutagens is physical mutagens that means it uh, includes ionizing radiation and non ionizing radiation where the ionizing radiation like alpha beta gamma radiations or x ray radiations these type of radiations these are having high penetration power therefore they can penetrate inside the cell and that causes changes in the dna structure while the another physical mutagens these are nothing but the non ionizing radiations so uv radiations also comes under this non ionizing radiations while the second type of mutagen is chemical mutagen where the alkylating or hydroxylating agents are known as the chemical mutagens for example nitrogen mustard sulfur mustard ethyl methane sulfonate methyl methane sulfonate so these are certain chemical agents which are responsible for causing the mutation uh, that is which are responsible for causing the changes in the dna structure or which are going to show any kind of alteration in the genetic material and thus causes the mutation now regarding the applications of mutation so the first application is for development of a new varieties in the plants so as there occur changes uh, in the genetic material so obviously whatever the plants which are developed these are of a new varieties then it is also responsible to increase the disease resistance power in the medicinal plant so because of mutation the disease resistance power especially in the medicinal plant can be increased then it is used to increase active constituent in the plants so active constituent is, is the constituent which is responsible for the therapeutic value so accordingly this active constituent concentration can be increased in the plants which ultimately results into the increase in the quality of that particular medicinal plant then it is uh, specifically used for the increase in the chemical constituent for example like uh, increase in the amount of diosgenin in dioscorea where the radiation treatment is given to increase the diosgenin content of the dioscorea where the chemical mutation is caused increase in the morphine content of the opium while increase in the capsaicin in the capsicum seeds okay so capsicum seed contain the capsaicin which is the active constituent get increased by means of the mutants like sodium azide and ethyl methane sulfonate so these are the chemical uh, mutants which are responsible for increase in the capsaicin in the capsicum seed while some chemical as well as the radiation mutagens these are used to increase the yield of atropa belladonna and the mentha so this is regarding the applications of the mutation okay so uh, we in this video we have seen what is mutation what is going to occur in the mutation how the mutation is going to be caused what are the different types of mutation and what are the applications of mutation so please like and share this video and if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel to get more videos 